What's going on guys, my name is Nicholas and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'll be showing you how to give certain people permission to the department pages. So as you can see, I have my identifier here. I made it, it's like the fastest identifier I ever made. You have the input and everything, the list of identifiers, all that bullshit. So this is the second time I make this video because the first one, the idea was crap, okay? So, what you're gonna do is, you gotta add a button. Let's make this button called BCSD, which stands for the Blaney Count Sheriff Department. If you guys didn't know, I don't know why wouldn't you know if you're making a CAD. So, we added this button. We're gonna go here, add a Dropbox. I'm not gonna explain what a Dropbox is because you guys probably know. You guys are smart, I know. Alright, so. We're gonna add another button. This one's gonna save. Actually, no, wait. I'm gonna just click done. Alright, beautiful. Amazing. Genius. So, you're gonna click this option. Second option, of course. It's gonna be police identity. I kinda misspelled that a second. It took me a minute to think about it. Okay. So, this is gonna be. It's gonna be identifier. Because I have the identifier set up. So, you're gonna be current user identifiers and this should be call sign and just like that can I make that close a little bit select the Blaine County Sheriff button and click start and edit workflow simply go here so actually no wait so it's gonna so just make sure that your input and your button always have this element is view is visible on the page load just click that no we don't want that okay both of them so click, click this and let's go here show and this will show the done button and this will show the Dropbox so when the page loads those both will not be there because you will have to click the blank County Sheriff for it to pop up Alright, now, there's two ways for people to click here and make the identifier Dropbox and the button show. So, what you want to do is, you don't want some random ass guy just come in, click here and just somehow access the uh, department page. So what you're going to do is, you're going to go to data, data type, new type, I should know, you're going to go to user. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna write is Blaine County Sheriff Department say yes or no and click create. I don't have to because I'm a smart boy and I already have done it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click here. This should be let's see current user is BCSD yes and it will have that just like this. So this should be checked because it's a yes. You're gonna have to add another one. Current user is playing the county sheriff department. No. Which will disable the button. So depending if you want the button to show or not. So it's gonna be disabled because no one's gonna be able to click it. Which is a fun feature. Then there's another feature which you could do, which is current user is Blaine County Sheriff yes so this element is visible you can have that and let's try it again. let's see Blaine County Sheriff is a no it's visible so what this does both of them those two what to do is when you load the page they will not be there for the people who have is Blaine County Sheriff as a no but for people who has a yes they will be able to see it so no one wants that okay that's no good it's gonna look ugly trust me so what you're gonna do is I suggest you go with this element is is clickable or isn't clickable actually and just go with that it's way better so what you're gonna do right click copy paste it here copy paste and just like that so what you're gonna do go here this shouldn't be empty okay so it doesn't have like a weird empty box there 
and it just causes problems. People can't clock in in the department page with an empty name, so you wouldn't know who's clocked in. It could be used for trolling too. So, after we're done with this, okay, make a new page. I already made one. So, what you're gonna do, click the done button, start workflow, and this will make changes to a thing, current user, identifier, and the Dropbox. Oh, well, and there it is. Same, and here it will navigation, go to page, and the blank account sheriff, just like that. Click new. Oh, whoops, that's not the page. Let's refresh. Gotta wait for it. Alright, just like that. So, click here. It works. But, let's refresh the page. And go here. Actually, no. Let's refresh the. Let's go to index. Go to data. App data. And go to all users. Go, click on the email. Actually, click on the little pen that's next to run ads and next to email next to that 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 yeah that'd be funny if i said all of them so is blank account sure i've said that to false what we'll do save wait for it to save what's it gonna do is it's gonna I can't click it anymore so that's a fun feature so let's go here set that to true wait for it and select your little identifier Let's make another identifier so I can show you guys it actually works and it updates really fast. It's taking a minute. Alright, let's update it. Alright, so you click here, should you sh show you the blank and sheriff, you're gonna have to wait for it. And you have all the list that you want, so let me show you that it actually works. I'm just gonna save this. Okay, well, it doesn't work. That's funny. So, after you're done, select this. You have the list of your identifiers. I'm gonna select this one. Done. And it should send me to the blank and share page. So, what you're gonna do? Also, go to your blank and share page and go to every five seconds, like one second. Go to uh, go to navigation. Go to index page. Current user and if our is a no. All right. So, what does this do? Is in one second it's just gonna kick me out basically all right let's go here and go to the other make it false wait one second should kick me out and there it is that was fun thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoy if you have any more questions comment down below join my discord that'd be fun i'll see you guys later peace